beeping at me. We just got back from Trader Joe's and I threw in a little like frozen quick mac and cheese because I'm hungry and we're about to leave. But I also picked up some pine berries, which I've never seen before. I mean, I've seen them like on TikTok and shit and like YouTube, but I've never personally seen them in real life. I don't think. I've tried a lot of like weird, interesting fruits. Oh, you're coming. Look how actually crazy these look and they smell like so, so sweet and good. This like little container was like five bucks. You can definitely see some like pink red showing through. My little berry mug is gonna work so perfect for this. I don't really know what I'm supposed to be looking for. So I picked some that you can like really see the pink and some that are more white. I should have just washed them all because I'm pretty sure strawberries, like, they're one of the fruits you're supposed to wash right away. It's a strawberry with, like, a white case on it. Like, it looks like a red strawberry underneath. And then there's, like, just <laughs> like white around are, it. Uh, I guess. Yeah. I don't know if it's supposed to give, like, strawberry or, like, pineapple because it's pineberry. I, I really don't know. I need to, I should have looked it up. I'm surprised they don't have, like, a little a description quick. on it. Is that good? Mm-hmm. Look at the inside. It's so... Wow, it's really... So white. It says that they have a strawberry flavor with a subtle essence of pineapple, pear, and apricot. This one just kind of like is giving strawberry, like, but it's a little bit sour, like not a super... Hmm. They're good. I wouldn't pay $5 for like a little container of them, but I'll definitely mm -hmm. like eat the rest of them. This girl here will eat like bananas, any fruit you'll give her. She's not picky whatsoever. She's just sitting here waiting. Every time we eat strawberries, she knows the tops are coming to her. She loves honestly anything like bananas, strawberries, like typical things that like they're like dogs should have these. They're great. They can eat them. And most dogs just like turn their nose up to them. She loves. You gotta give her little pieces though. This is like low-key pushing it for her. We're about to head out. I wanna grab an icy while we're out. I might need to make like a little list of things I need. I should have stopped at Sam's Club. There's a few things that I need that like they sell there. Like their cheese is a good price for like mozzarella, yeah. ricotta, alcohol swabs to wipe off my cameras and my computers and stuff because they're like 70%, so that works perfect. With my old computer, I used to wipe it down with like 90% isopropyl and it like literally, I don't know, removed the silver coating type shit on my Mac, which I ended up spilling a ton of water on and getting a new one this year. So bye to her, but like, oh yes. Also, when we get home, I really wanted to make shrimp tacos now, but Kyle somehow talked me into settling for the stupid ass frozen pizza, because when we get back, he's gonna make me shrimp tacos that we had yesterday. And oh my gosh, so good. Look, hold on. He made this pineapple salsa. Can, can you see it? Looks like corn Loki, but it is pineapple habanero. I was gonna say mango habanero. It, mango would be probably bomb in here but this like i can eat it on chips putting it on the tacos is everything i can't wait to show you the shrimp tacos don't let me forget because y'all need to see it you need to film it for your food channel soon they need this recipe it's so good tons of sweaters oh what are you doing good girl The perfect amount is three shrimp, two scoops of the pineapple salsa, mm -hmm. and a little pinch of some shredded cabbage. So bomb. The cabbage is honestly just for like fun because it doesn't do much, but look at these. Jeez. I pay some serious money for those. That looks crazy. We gotta get a quick story of that too so we can eat it. I'm so excited, y'all. Honestly, I'm so sorry that I show you food that looks like this, considering y'all are probably stoned. Cheers. Is it amazing? Astronomically good. Hi guys, it is the next day. I just got ready. I'm eating a waffle because I ate a bunch of edibles, so I'm kind of lit, but... It's a little Belgian waffle from Trader Joe's. Yesterday we went thrifting and I got a bunch of stuff and we washed it, but I haven't tried it on because the fitting rooms were closed. I'm not a fan of fitting rooms anyways. Like I probably wouldn't have tried it on. It was like a 50-50 shot. I got a couple things and I figured I would like try it on with y'all. So this is everything we got. Two of these are Kyle's, but like I might try them on anyways. We'll see. All right, I grabbed these. They're little like 
green cargo shorts. I have no idea how they'll fit. These actually fit so good. They are like a little long. Like I like shorts a little bit shorter, but they're cute. I love that River's just sitting here like waiting for the fashion show. Such a mom. I love you, good girl. I got these pants. I don't know, they're giving comfortable, but also I have no idea what to expect. This material is super comfortable, but like the legs are very awkward. I got another pair of cargo shorts. I like the length on these a little bit more. I like the like, look at this button. It's like, I don't know what you would call it. Slide the, hopefully you could see that. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. These kind of look trippy, these pants, but. <laughs> All right. A little green. It's like ribbed, it's cute. I don't know if you can really see. They're like a corduroy, so I thought that was that was fun and I wanted them. These are Kyle's and with one fold, I got everything I need. Literally everything pretty much fit. Pretty successful, I think I spent like 50 bucks. Well, that edible knocked me the fuck out and now I feel like I slept and now I wanna be productive. Although it's later, like Kyle's gonna wanna go to sleep in a few hours and I'm gonna be up like cleaning and shit. Obsessed is an understatement. I love this planner. Also, I got some good photos on both of the cameras, I think. Just like a little protective sheet on top, but I am so obsessed with how this planner came out. I just rolled up and I'm sitting here in session and I see my missing camera battery. It's damn near midnight and it's time to meal prep. Kyle is um, working on getting out some mozzarella that we threw in the freezer because shit's really hard to grate if you don't freeze it for a second first. I got a bunch of these little containers and they have lids so I can just fill up the like little bottom with some marinara sauce and then load them up with shells and freeze them. Really need to start the pasta water because I think I'm gonna have to do like two whole bags of the shells. Brief intermission. Friendly reminder, all merch is currently half off, literally 50% off with code Blaze. Go check it out before the sale's over. Ricotta. This pan is for like right now. How perfect. Together here, I've got like just over a hundred stuffed shells and I am so lit for these. I think I'm gonna keep out a few for tomorrow, but the rest I'm gonna freeze. I might need to make room in my freezer. Yeah, probably. I'm so excited to eat y'all. It's like 2 a.m. but I made a hundred shells, so I feel like so, I don't know, I've been wanting to do this for so long, so it feels good to have gotten it done finally. So bomb. It's like lasagna without the without the beef. It is the next day and my oven is literally about to beep at me. We just made cheesecakes because it's my mom's birthday today. How gorgeous. I'm so excited. Here is the finished little cake. Isn't it so cute? How fucking cute is that? Are you kidding?
Hey guys, good morning. I am about to get ready. I just put on Aquaphor, like my moisturizer. Shit is glistening. I typically only use Aquaphor at night and not every night, but I'm out of my other moisturizer per usual. I feel like I go through skincare so quick. I mean, I don't, but I, I feel like I buy it every week. Yesterday, we ended up making cheesecakes for my mom's birthday and doing all that fun stuff. Today, right now, I'm about to get ready. I look like the glaziest donut I've literally ever seen. So I think I want to go on like a hike today or like make time for that. Also, one of the products I'm getting is like perfect for smoking in nature, like an outdoor smoke sesh. So I feel like that'd be super fun to film if I'm feeling it. Let's get into this makeup because I don't want it to take forever. I kind of want to try and return this. I love the light reflecting foundation from NARS. So many of you guys were asking in my last video what foundation I was using. This one. It's pretty, pretty similar to the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate, but they got rid of that. So I was on the hunt to find like a dupe, but not really, like a reverse dupe because this was $50 and the other foundation I used to use was like 10. So that sucks, but oh shit, this is why I want to return it. The pump is like broken and it will not come off. Like the lid won't work right. And I was like, I wonder if they'll take it back because I've only used it like three times. So there's a ton of product in it and I don't want to spill it. Like that's so annoying. It has to be out and it can't go in my drawer now, but I'm gonna play some music. Hold on, where's my phone? Recently, I've been taking concealer and just like putting it over my blemish like this and letting it dry for like five minutes And I'm gonna take like an eyeshadow blending brush Something like this and get in there and just like blend around the blemish it melts it into your skin I don't know where it goes If I was bitches I'd hate me a lot Quick little break to show you guys how well this blends out sometimes you have to do two coats like put it on let it dry blend it out and then do the same thing one more time but it never looks cakey and it's insane Are we seeing that? For the memories get to kicking in it's too late I don't wanna lose I just put this on my like contour brush whatever I done gave the jail too many years, years that I won't get back. And I swear I done shed too many tears for niggas that I won't get back. My base makeup is pretty much done. All I have left are like my brows, my lashes, the eyes, but I just got a little pizza out of the oven, so pizza break. I got drip on the floor, it's getting nasty. He ain't keeping his hands up off my ass cheeks. But I swear you got the best on Light me up, I done seen the whole world and ain't no one as hot as us. Bank roll, dank roll. The brows look good. And if we paint a perfect picture, we can make it last forever. Last but not least, a little bit of the Too Faced lip plumber. Here is what the hair looks like just like this. I'm not gonna leave it like this. I'm about to do like little braids and then maybe pull some of it up. We'll see. I'm a real social boy. I really play with Draco. Here is the finished hair. I honestly, it's crazy how much like the littlest thing can do. Like the braids, still I feel like the hair wasn't looking right. Add the little like ponytail vibe. I feel like it's perfect. I'm absolutely loving it. <clears throat> Number 55. Oh, awesome. I kind of want to go over here. This honestly looks gorgeous. I think you can literally hear the creek like trickling in the back. 
All right, all right. All right. I got one lawyer, got one in that day, the only two, man. How many times have I told you the truth, man? How many nights I've been woke, swerving them potholes, not trying to fuck up the wheels or fuck up the deals. I'm posted in stock, home, it's me the owls and the twins, it's only the real. 